The Canadian Card Collector here, and welcome back to day 272 of a daily deck review. And the deck that we're taking a look at today is the Teal Podo Playing Cards from Art of Play. So, with no further ado, let's take a look and see what we get. But before we start, these are still fully sealed, so we're gonna crack that cellophane, see if there's a pull tab anywhere. And I don't see one. So I'm just going to have to peel from the top, I guess, or any weak point. Okay, now that that's off, as a teal Poto playing cards with the matte finish talk box here. As you can see, it's a teal matte finish talk box with a little bit of kind of like matte, kind of like gold on here. It says Poto playing cards. And it says Cardini. So this is like a Cardini like style kind of deck, like like the similar style that he used to use, or something like that. And on the side, it's just blank. Well, you get a little bit of texture text if you like zoom in really far. There's a little copyright from 2021. And then on the other side, it's just that teal color, a little bit of that gold that kind of wraps around. On the bottom, it just says Art of Play, property and distributed by Art of Play, San Diego. And then artofplay.com and the website on the back. You just have a little Poto Cardini little logo there. Then it said made in the USA. And for that seal, as you can see, it's slightly lifting off, so I can show it all at once, kind of. It's like a chrome metallic, kind of like silver, a chromey style seal, stamp style. It says Poto. And then you got the bulldog there in the middle. And then it says limited edition on either side there. This is playing cards at the bottom. It says Podo there and it says 52. And then on top, as you can see, the seal did like kind of like go up. So it says playing cards underneath that seal there. And with a little bit of gold wrapping around. And we don't need our handy dandy card opener today because that seal popped up. So we can just Crack it open. Maybe. There we go. If I can get it open, it's a little hard to get it open. But on that tuck flap, it just got it says Epiphanies Await, the Curious Mind. One of our play little quotes there. And the inner tuck flaps, it's just that teal colorway. Now if we take the cards out of the box. On the inside of the tuck box, as you can see, it's just that matte teal finish. Nothing too crazy going on inside of there. Now that we took a look at the tuck box, time to take a look at the cards. And first we'll start with the back design. Here we have a borderless one-way back design. You've got that kind of like horse or pegasus there in the back. And then you've got like a little kind of like half crescent, kind of like quarter circle shape there and you got like a big gold and you got the, the white and the black and then you got the teal for the background there and that gold is a little bit metallic and then if you it is a one-way back design so if you were to flip it over the design would be upside down and it would be really noticeable now for the cards you get with the deck here we start with the first joker and it says cardini cardini there in the corners and you got a little silhouette of a cardini's face there kind of Oh, actually, there was the top hat and the monocle and the glove there. And the second Joker is an identical Joker. And then for the custom Ace of Spades, it says Podo. And you got the custom spade there. With the little Podo kind of little logo there with the gold strip there. It says Podo, Cardini, playing cards. And then for the rest of the spades, there are that like custom spade design with some more pointy like top to it that goes through with the rest of the spades and then for the court cards jack queen and king of spades what do you use like standard court cards like standard design just in a teal and gold colorway um, more gold metallic and then for the diamonds they're pretty standard maybe slightly custom and they're in like a lighter kind of red reddish almost looks pink like a pinkish red white a light lightish pink red 
color that goes throughout the rest of the diamonds. And then for the cork and then for the Jack Queen King of Diamonds, they're in a pink. I'll just say pink, a pink and gold colorway. And then going back to the clubs, there's the, they go back to that teal and gold colorway. And the clubs are slightly custom. They look pretty standard, but they are still slightly custom. And then lastly, we've got the hearts. They're in that pinkish, like red kind of, I guess, pink colorway. There was the custom hearts. We've got the Jack, Queen, King. In that gold and pink colorway, once again, just like the diamonds. The hearts. As you can see, in that pink colorway with the custom pips and suits. And then the last two cards in the deck we got, I'll just start with this one, the Art of Play Ad card, which says, Epiphanies await the curious mind, a little quote, back design. And then we got a little, I guess, in collaboration kind of card. So if you want to pause and read that, you can. Let me just make it easier to read. We can pause and read if you want. But anyways, we'll move on to the handling. First, we'll start with the springs. Well, like I said, they have a nice flex to the cards. Nice and bendy. They're not overly stiff, which is pretty nice. But they're not like super, super bendy, but they're pretty bendy. Like they got a nice flex to it. They're nice and smooth. So overall, pretty nice and smooth dribble. I mean, springs. And the cards definitely feel like nice and smooth and like slick. Like they're going to like slide out of your hands pretty easily. But overall, pretty nice springs. Now on to the fans. And with the fans, this is being a one-way back design. So there's multiple different fan styles you can get. The first one here that I get is just it's like the teal color colorway here. Like a big stripe of the in the gold down there at the bottom. And I know on camera that they kind of look, look more blue on camera. Because it's all the teal decks that I have look blue on camera for some reason. But they're more a uh, greener color than blue. And what I was saying was the, the fans, there's four different types, so if you do like a reverse fan, you know, like a different style of fan there, where it has like a little smaller teal strip with like the gold, like a bigger gold strip. And you can like even flip the cards over this way. You can have like a different fan, so it goes teal, teal black, white, gold, teal. You can even have a, a gold up top and then the teal on the bottom. But well, there's definitely different options for the fans. As you can see, they spread pretty evenly. You can see most of the pips and numbers. No real stickiness or clumpiness to the cards, which is pretty nice. And one thing I didn't mention before, this is a fully inked back design, so the edges can chip. Like I always say with fully inked decks, the ed edges could chip and start turning white, a little white. So that's one thing to notice. But so far, so good. Now on to the Riffle Shuffle. Oh, no, wait, no. I'm just getting ahead of myself. Time for the Pharaoh. And as you can see, that was a nice, super smooth Pharaoh there. And it locked away pretty flawlessly. Now for a giant fan of that back design. Well, almost dropped all those right there. Now time for the reverse pharaoh. And as you can see, the reverse pharaoh was not as smooth. I had to shuffle and slide them together, like push them together to get them to interlock away. And they interlocked away okay, but not like, definitely not perfect. Now for a giant fan of the faces. And now we're going to move on to the Whipple Shuffle or Bridge Shuffle. And this is the part of the video where the one-way back to that 
will get mixed up. Well, like I said, the Ripple Shuffles and Bird Shuffles are pretty smooth there. They feel smooth like right away. There's no issues there whatsoever. So that's pretty nice. Nothing wrong with the rail shovels or butch shovels. Perfectly fine and smooth there. Now move on to the packet cuts. And there goes a few. Right onto the floor there. Drop a few. Always a little deck review kind of like tradition there of dropping a few cards. I try not to, but you never know. What could happen with cards? Well, even though I dropped a few cards there, the pack of cards are pretty nice. They, might, they, they definitely are a little bit like slippery from time to time though. So you gotta just be cautious of that. It's still a pretty nice pack of cuts. But now I want to the one handed cut or surely a cut. Now time for the dribble, one of my favorite parts. Well, the dribbles seem to be smooth. And they're definitely slippery because the cards keep wanting to slide on my hands, and some of them are just flying out of my hands. But they're still relatively smooth, which is great. Now for that spread fan. And lastly, spread the cards on the table. Well, this colorway of the Podo playing cards has raised the bar like it's unexpected or whatever. Like, I am highly, like, in, in whatever you call it. I can't think of the words that I'm trying to say. But I really enjoy this deck. Like, it's raised the, raised the bar. And you got the nice teal colorway, which doesn't really show on camera as much as I would like. But then you got the little horse there for a little logo there, and then you got the gold metallic on the back, which just makes it pop. So a fantastic back design, even though it's a one-way back design, I still find this really fantastic. And then you got those custom faces where the whoops, where the red cards are that like kind of like lighter pink kind of tone. Then you've got the full custom like hips there for the court cards and then the I mean for the suits and then the court cards here. Like the spades and the clubs have the teal and the gold and the diamonds and the hearts have that pink and gold, which is a nice touch. So overall, a fantastic 
design for the deck. It has blown me, blown me away. And then for the healing, what you saw, I found no issues with the healing whatsoever. Uh, it's more of a crushed stock, so it feels broken in right out of the box. And they're pretty smooth overall. No real stickiness to them. So everything is fantastic there. Overall, great design. Fantastic handling. So, that being said, I hope you enjoyed. And this has been day 272 of a daily deck review. This has been the Teal Poto Playing Cards from Art of Play. And I'm the Canadian Card Collector, signing out. That's the video. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.